Hi everybody, um, back with another video. Um, I am not feeling very well, so this is why I'm just bulk making my new YouTube videos. Um, I'm today going to share with you my opinion on pleaser heels. As you can see, I have quite a few. I do also have some more that are in boxes that I haven't opened yet, and I have some more on the way for Christmas. So <coughs> I have more to show you, but. In this video, I just wanted to share with you my opinion on the ones that I have. I have two other pairs that are not from Pleaser, so I wanted to compare the difference. Um, I just wanted to show you exactly what I use them for, what style of dancing, the material, what is good for what, sizing, quality, you know, everything about them that I can think of that I want to share with you. And I hope that this can help any beginners that are not sure on what ones to buy because in the UK there are no shops where you can go and see them physically you have to just rely on reviews but if there is anybody that knows any shops anywhere that have them please let me know the thing I had to write this down because I've got such a bad memory so this is literally my own personal opinion everybody has their own opinion and I've watched reviews so many reviews on YouTube and TikTok everywhere. I've looked extensively because I am obsessed with pleasers. And I always find that people do have difference of opinions, obviously. This is just my opinion. It's not like the be all and end all and you may find it different for you. So the first thing I wanted to say about them was, I can't remember. <laughs> right, so I use my heels for exotic dancing. I do use them for work. I pole two to three times a week. I also wear them more than that anyway. So I get full use out of them. They are amazing quality. I've just got to say that. They are the best shoes ever. They are amazing quality. So basically, the, few, the things that I wanted to talk about in the video was the heel height, shoe size, different styles, the material that they're made out of, the quality of them, how well they last, how to prepare and clean and repair them and how to choose your first pair as a beginner. So the first thing was the heel height. I've only got two different heel heights and that is seven inch, which are, just gotta show you these ones because these are lovely. This is a seven inch heel. When you've got them here, obviously they look higher and if you used to wear them out, they would feel higher. But when I've got these on and I'm pole dancing and I watch back on my videos, they look tiny. They really do look tiny. So that's why I prefer the um, eight inch heel, which are these. So that's the difference. So this is seven inch heel height. And this is the eight inch heel height. I do prefer the eight inch, they are my favorites. I don't really wear the seven inches anymore, to be honest. Um, they are good for beginners because they are a hell of a lot easier to walk in, a lot less ankle wobbles, even though you still do get ankle wobbles. That's why it's good to strengthen your ankles when you're working with pleasers. I actually do prefer these for chair dancing because I'm closer to the chair, I'm not so tall, like right away from the bottom of the chair. And I find these a lot easier to walk in because I have literally no balance whatsoever and I really have no balance so I don't like walking around really in those. I only like to put when I'm on the pole if I'm going to be on the floor if I'm going to be touching the pole with my hand at any stage I prefer these. If I'm chair dancing or I don't wear them out if I'm just chair dancing these ones. So that's the heel height. Um, I actually did buy the first pair of heels I bought were an eight, in, eight inch heel and when I got them out of the box <laughs> I held them up these are the first ones I got I, I got them out of the box and they seemed so oh I'm going to show show you all as well how to clean these to make them look brand new but anyway I've got I've got to clean them <laughs> when I first got these out of the box I thought Oh my God, what the hell have I done? Um, I'm never going to be able to walk in these. Um, and I put them on and I literally, within two steps, nearly broke my ankle. So they are very scary when you first get them. 
but I if you can afford it I mean I started off and I just got these I got them I was really scared of walking around in them I found them really difficult to walk in I then purchased a seven inch pair which I then got the feel of because I'd never walked in pleasers before in my life so the seven inch get, sort of got me used to walking around in that type of a heel and then literally within a week of wearing those I started to wear these and then I just continued to get eight inches I've got four pairs of seven inch heels and I've the rest are all no I haven't I've got five pairs of seven inch heels and the rest I think I've got about 30 pairs of heels the rest are all eight inches because I just think they look nicer they look a little bit more like ballet shoes and they seven inch look more like dancer shoes is how I see it so that's if you're trying to decide with the seven inch or the eight inch I've never got a six inch or the five inch heels um there is a pair of nine inch heels that I've seen that I love they don't they don't do them in the eight inch so I'm really tempted to get them but they're so tall <laughs> and I don't go to a studio where I have a lot of space so maybe when I go start going to a studio next year I will treat myself to those ones anyway let's move on with the shoe size a lot of people wonder whether you go to your true size or whether you go to up or down um I am a size 6 UK, which is a please a size 9 US. I don't size up or down. I literally go for my true size. I'm not a half size, so I can't advise what you would do if you're a half size. If I was a six and a half, I would have to size up because they wouldn't fit me if I was any bigger. They're, they're quite a good snug fit, so I'd say size up. But I sized up on the boots once because the toe was slightly tight, but they were way too big. So I now stick to my true size with every single pair that I have. And the next point I wanted to say was the different styles of shoe. So you've got obviously this sandal, you've got like this clear sandal, which is the style that I loved the most until for some reason i then started to like this style which had the colored bit here um these remind me of like a just like a dancer or a normal pair of shoes these remind me of and these really do give me like strip club vibes which is what i like i love i love that sort of aesthetic so i steered away from these and i always got this clear one and then i think i saw somebody dancing with a pair of these on and a dress and i was like that looks amazing I, I want some now so now i'm i'm now like leaning towards this style and i've only got two pairs of this style um so yeah i'm a bit sad about that but it just gives me an excuse to get some more <laughs> so that's with the clear and the colored strap um obviously you've got these boots up here these ankle boots now these two are made from that patent pu lip the pu stuff the patent whatever it is the shiny shiny material that's the word they are great for a beginner those black ones i would say are the best option for a beginner because they go with everything the scuffs don't show as much and they stick to the poles they're going to help you with grip and they're going to help you climb the pole these also help you climb the pole this this material i find sometimes these actually help better than the boots because the the laces and stuff can get in the way when you're climbing the pole but these really really help you stick but if you're doing an upside down hangman like, like upside down crucifix they can dig into your ankle and hurt so there's like pros and cons to all of them um the glitter boots here oh, sorry the glitter boots here um they are covered in glitter on the outside of the boot and then on the inside of the heel they do not stick to the pole they will stop you from sticking they will literally make you slide off the pole if you're using your ankles so i would not go for those if you're a beginner i would go for those if you're a bit more advanced You've got a bit of strength in your arms and your core and you can hold yourself up without using your feet. These ones, mixed with them, these amazing, I will get them down in a sec, but these amazing holographic silver boots. Oh, 
the best colour, but they're not pleasers. They are, they were like a bit deceiving because I thought they would stick because they're shiny, but they don't. They literally have the same effect as the glitter ones, which is sad, but they are amazing boots. But I'll show you the bad thing about those boots in a little bit. My favourite, 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 favourite style of all time are a thigh high boot. <laughs> These are my seven inch ones because they didn't have any eight inch in stock in black like this material i can't think what it is um but yeah these are i love fire high boots they look so sexy they help you stick to the pole the reason i got these ones was because i couldn't get a leg hang um because i didn't have the strength or the skin conditioning in my my leg so like my knee pit um so i actually got these but as you can see the thing the bad thing about doing that which I found out. I have got so many tips on what not to do because I've just done so many things that are not that have hurt or yeah, have gone wrong. Um I got these to be able to do a leg hang to stick and because I like them obviously. Um and they budged up so bad behind my leg when I was learning that I actually got like severe burns on the back of my knees. Yeah, and it wasn't fun. I couldn't then grip the pole for about a month. So just be careful <laughs> also i've got these ones which are my favorite boots of all time they look amazing for content they look amazing to take pictures with when you're dancing but you can't rely on doing any leg hangs well i can't anyway um because this stops the stick so just bear that in mind if you're getting a pair of boots with that at the back that's why I like the black ones. I just wish I had them in. I just wish I had the eight inch when I was shopping for them. <clears throat> I will be getting another pair of thigh highs black in eight inch one day. <laughs> but I just feel like while I've got black thigh highs, I gravitate towards like a different colour every time. Like there's a pink pair that I want. The thing I didn't say, let me just quickly say, is the ankle stability. Now, obviously you've got you've got barely any ankle spilling and then you've got pleasers with without this and i don't know how people walk around with no literally no stability but these have got like the le the least amount of stability i have had quite a few ankle wobbles with these i find the best ankle stability and this is why i think they're good for beginners is those these boots the the sticky black boots because they they have you can get them so not tight, just cut your circulation off, but you can get them really tight and secure around your ankle and your foot really is secure. So they've got the best ankle support. The thigh highs do as well, but not as much because obviously you've got more give going up the leg. The next thing I want to say about the quality of pleasers compared to other brands. Now I've only got one other brand to compare them to and it's not a well-known brand. Um, the Hella Heels, I've wanted to try, but the size confuses the life out of me because they are a UK size six. So say like the pleasers are a UK six, a US nine. Um, Hella Hills are U UK six, US eight. So I don't know whether if I go for a six in the UK size, it's actually going to be a UK size six because the American size is different. So I just stay away from them. Also, they're more expensive and I prefer the style of pleasers. So this is the other company's shoe. I don't, I can't remember what the name of it is. I'll put it in the description. But look at the colour of these. How amazing are these boots? Like I saw them and I just had to have them. But, and they was a lot cheaper, but it sounds like cardboard. So bear in mind, I've only worn these twice maybe. yeah it's this boot i think i've worn these three times um and didn't even have like a vigorous dance in them because i didn't want to scuff the toe up but you can see that it's already starting to come away at the heel um and also the other boot is from the same company this holographic silver um i'll get them down so you can see they're from the same company and the same things happen, happened for them. So I wouldn't suggest buying. I will put the name in so you can sort of steer away from them. 
unless you want them just for taking pictures, which would be perfect. But look, look how amazing these are. I mean, you can see the quality is not as good anyway, because look at the inside of the heel. You can see where it's all joined and it's not joined up properly. But they do look amazing in pictures. And this is literally what I use them for, to be honest. The heel was doing the same thing. Is it on this one? No, it must have been the other one. But the heel was doing the same thing. It was coming apart. So, yeah, this one looks amazing, but it's just not practical. Also, they're a lot smaller because they do hurt my toes. <laughs> so I can't wear them for very long. I'm glad they was cheaper, to be honest, because I wouldn't have been happy if they was more expensive and same quality. Okay, so let's move on to heel prep now. I know a lot of people, and I don't know whether it's people that just work in a club, but then I've seen people that don't work in clubs do it as well. Um, but they'll get the heel and then they score it with a, um, a Stanley blade. Um, and then they'll get, which I never, I've never scored the bottom, only because I just can't bring myself to put a knife to my pleasers. Um, <laughs> Maybe I will with one pair just to sort of see if it has any difference. But I've never scored the bottom of them. Um, but I have done with one pair. I did the trick where you put a sock on your foot, put your foot in, and then you get a hairdryer and you hairdry this part. And it does loosen and it moulds around your foot. Like, because you've got the sock on, it's made it slightly bigger. It gives a bit more give. But I found that that pair that I did that with then became quite baggy and it doesn't fit as well as the rest of the shoes. I literally take them out of the box. I remove the stickers from the bottom and that is it. That is the only prep that I do. I do not score them and I don't heat them up either. Okay, so with cleaning them, I'm actually gonna, I'm about to film a cleaning video, which will be up. So keep your eyes open for that, exactly how I do it. But for the toes on shoes, you can see they get dirty. I get some alcohol, 99% um, alcohol, whatever it is. Um, and I get a scrubbing, washing up brush, clean one. And then I just dab a bit on the sponge and scrub until it comes off and then leave to dry. Fixing toes of the boots because this is what annoys me with the boots. With the heels, I can get the toes looking brand new, but with the boots, this always happens. Um, and if you look at pole dancing, like really good pole dancers, their boots are normally battered. But I'm, I've seen somebody colour the toes in with some Sharpies. So I'm going to get some coloured Sharpies to match my boots. And then I will do... Whoa, just drop them. Um, and then I will do a video of how I fix them all and clean them together. Um, the only other thing I wanted to sort of talk about was just if you're a beginner... You haven't bought your first pair of shoes and you're not exactly sure obviously you may have gathered already through the video some tips on what you need to look out for and stuff like that but for a beginner i would go for well, i know not everybody can afford to do it um but i would get a couple of different pairs i if you can i know that vintage they sell um secondhand pleasers for a lot cheaper if you wanted to just try them out but i would seriously try and get like a seven inch sandal an eight inch sandal um, if that's what you're going to be wearing um i'd get an ankle boot um, and that's probably the three pairs that i would start off with if you can get them if you can only get one pair for an all-round beginner show for training for learning to walk in the heels for stability, I would go with an ankle boot. Um, to be honest, I'd just go for the eight inch. If you want to learn eight inch and you that's the shoes that you're gonna eventually be getting, I would just start with the eight inch and just go very, very, can't talk. I would just go very slowly, very carefully, just do some walking around in your house, walking around the pole until you feel confident in, in them. Because I would say start as you mean to go on. I didn't want to shell out loads of money for all these different shorter heels and then find that I prefer the higher heels, which is what happened. Um, the only reason I have got multiple seven inches is because either the ones that I wanted in eight inch were out of stock 
or there is a certain style that I only did in the seven inch, which was that crystal one. Um, the gold ones I got to match my pile and they were the first ones that I got. Yeah, the gold ones, um, they were the first seven inch pair that I got and they matched my pole. The pink ones, I couldn't find any pink ones in a seven, uh, eight inch at the time. So I really liked the chrome ones. So I got those. I think I was getting for an outfit or something for some content. Um, and I bought some plain crystal, like plain clear ones because I think they go with every outfit and in seven inch and then I bought them in an eight inch because I prefer the height so these are the eight inch clears because I think they just go with everything they're great looking strip club shoe great dance shoe um, and they're quite iconic so what I did with the because I bought them exactly the same style I then customized the shorter ones because I thought I wanted a pair of crystal shoes. I wasn't paying Please's price for crystal ones because they're really expensive. Um, and I've got two shoes that were sort of basically the same. So I thought, you know, I'll customise it. And I customised the shorter ones because it was less to do. <laughs> so that was all the points I can think of. Um, if you want to see some of the heels in action, go to my Instagram or my TikTok, which is exotic underscore pole underscore club which is the same as this channel's name um i've got more pleases coming for christmas so we'll be doing some unboxing videos if anybody's got any questions about pleases or anything like that let me know obviously like these are my own opinions they're not going to be the same as everybody else's but i thought i would just give you an opinion as a person that works as an exotic dancer from home for about two years so it's got a little bit of experience with them hope you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video